Ladies and gentlemen, and all the rest of you space pirates out there, hello and welcome back to Cooperative Survival Planet Side with D Swank. Hello. Hey, Ballet, <laughs> what did you do to my ship? Wasn't me, son. Wasn't me. I don't know what happened. Is I this... think we've had some pirates come by here or something. Some strange stuff's been going on. We've been robbed inside, too. Yeah. I, I told you we didn't need that velour couch. <sighs> well, I had to have it. I just, yeah. I just had to have it. So anyway, we do hope everybody had a wonderful holiday, and welcome back. Yep. We have some odd issues. Mm-hmm. Some odd mod issues. Odd, odd. Hmm. Odd mod. But, uh, it seems that both the Azimuth mod and the Esketeers decoration mod, is that how you, how you say that? It's, it's decoration, but I, I can never say his name correctly. Yeah. Anyway, um, they all disappeared on us. However, we try to place something where those were, it kills the server. So they're still there, but not loaded in. Weird stuff has happened. Thankfully, D-Swank went off and did some mining for us. And we're, uh, we're processing a whole bunch of ice and all kind of goodies as we speak. Oh, wow. I am skipping around. What the... That was you, weird. You just took off. <laughs> Where'd you go? I died. I ran into something and died. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, as you can oh. see, Fuzzy left the door unlocked and we were robbed. I mean, yes. they, they, they took everything down there. They took our fence. They took his throne. They even took my Christmas lights. Yep. <laughs> so, today's uh, little playthrough, I know I'm going to be working on my tower a little bit. And uh, I think we may get around to optimizing the, um, the assemblers to keep us fed with all the stuff that we need through Tim. Yeah, we may. We may. We may. What is your plans for today? Well, I'm... Uh, as you may or may not have seen, um, I managed, while doing mining and things, I discovered that with all the troubles that I had before, I was able to dig through the tunnel underneath and lay the pipe through underneath. Mm -hmm. And so the, the windmill is actually piped up underground, and yes... So, my next step on that is to build a wall to keep them spiders out. Yes, sir. So, that, that is my project. And to keep things more or less entertaining, as we go about our day today, you may have some uh, questions for us, yes? I have a handful of questions, uh, or discussion topics. And, uh, I, I believe I have seven or so, plus uh, a few others that have been suggested. Okay. Yeah. And that's all the steel plates. Of course it is. <laughs> yes, I... What do you expect me to build a wall out of? Uh, that's if a good I don't, question. If I can't use steel plates. That's a good question. I will be fixing that shortly. Alright. Um, I had a point somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. Okay. What? What'd you go in there where you belong? Anyway, um, since we had discussion topic idea, um, mm -hmm. let's start with uh, some of the 
more relevant to space Why engineers. Why is the station off gassing all of our oxygen? Uh, interesting. That was weird. It looked like every window was off gassing all the oxygen. Yeah, it did. Oh, boy. Eh. Strange. Very. What was but I you... doing? Oh. Yes, my, uh, my, the discussion as to, um, on Space Engineer's subject, or a topic relevant to Space Engineers, however mm -hmm. you want to phrase it. Um, I've been reading online um, some interesting discussions on the workshop. Yes. That talk about possible survival features. Uh, two of them were somewhat interesting, and I was curious what your opinion on these would be. Okay. Uh, and they are fairly divisive uh, topics in the community, actually. So, um, you have a lot of people arguing for and against, but most of the... Uh, stop bouncing, please. That was what was causing me to bounce. My jetpack was on, but I had no hydrogen. Ah. But, um... The topic, the first one is food. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people see food as just another bar. Like health or uh, energy, oxygen, and hydrogen. Just another right. bar you have to babysit. And I, I understand that, that view. I can kind of get behind and I, I can see why people wouldn't like that. Um, the very start of this game, it was all about engineering and building and whatnot. But the fact is, so, whoa, hello lag. Yes. The fact is, a survival game, which currently is what we're playing, we're not in creative, we're in survival. A survival game means surviving and people, unless we get some sort of implanted strange device in our bellies, need food to survive. Um, so I'd be okay with it either way. I'm not particularly upset about it one way or the other. Okay. So, uh, one of the more, on the, the Steam community, there's a couple of fairly vocal individuals. Uh, mm -hmm. one is, um, I believe goes by the name 12, and the other is Van Gogh Complex. Um... And twelve brought up a a not a good idea. Okay. At least I felt um, that one of the. Oh yeah, I've got to turn Tim back on. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. One of. Uh, um, if instead of having the big problem of um, uh, I the the thing with food is what do we do with it? Basically, that's the question. Right? Um, is it ju do we just sit there and it does? We don't really get anything. We just I mean it, it's just another bar. But could we build things like the mining ship? Like, could we build harvesters and tractors and things like that to do stuff with the food? Well, I mean, over in, um, this is Tim, this is Tim. Uh, I just hit run, right? Right, um, on the, the timer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the timer. Timer, 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 timer. Tim, Tim, Tim. On, um, Tim Timer. Here we go. Yeah, go and start. Off you go, buddy. Okay, um, on middle evil, the, the medieval engineers, they've just implemented farming along with tools that you can build with to create farming tools yeah. and gadgets and whatnot. So, I mean, if you're going to have planets 
And if food's going to be part of it, then I would say, yeah. Whoop, crap. Put my helmet on. Okay. So, I mean, that would be interesting. Yeah. I, I agree that I don't like the idea of it just being another bar that we have to babysit. I, I can understand the dislike and why people are against that. Right. But, I mean, there's really no way to regulate a sense of hunger otherwise, and we get, we're get we getting some serious lag right now. I noticed. I wonder if it's based on the size of our base. Maybe. Shouldn't be. Because it's it's a fixed grid. It's not going to move anywhere. I don't know. Bit worrisome it is. Yeah. You haven't like. I haven't seen anything like uh, ships crashing down on us. So. Uh. Uh-uh. Nope. And, yeah, it looks like the uh, your twirling antenna is kind of jitter-jiggering from the lag. <laughs> but, yeah. But, my... I mean... Oh, go ahead. But I would just say, but seriously, though, I mean, outside of a, quote-unquote, bar to babysit, how would you regulate hunger? I mean, outside of a hidden bar and you just get weaker and start hearing your stomach growl, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, otherwise, don't put it in at all. Right. Well, I think they mean, like, babysit as in... A... There's very little interaction with, say, oxygen and hydrogen. Right. And, I mean, the only thing, really, that you have to have is energy to respawn if you die. Right? Right. And following that, when you respawn, if all you have is energy, I believe you respawn with full tank of oxygen and full tank of hydrogen. True. But, I mean, that's in place for a reason. If something happens to your... I mean, you can always turn on permadeath and not to fix that issue. But... Mm, Not really, because all you do is fly back over and just claim your stuff. Not if you get... Well, I mean, yeah, because neutrals won't get shot at unless you have it set up that way. Yep. But... I mean, I can understand it, though. I mean, if you didn't spawn with full tank, full this, full that, how would you get back if something happened to your um, med bay? I mean, yeah, I mean, that could be part of the whole thing. You know, oops, you died, you lost your med bay, oh, well. Wow, hello, leg. Yeah. I mean, it... I'm not really... Cu- I don't really have an answer, but... Yeah. I mean, it... The, uh... I mean, it is a problem to... For sure, and I mean, if they... If King just follows what they have been doing, which is anytime anything of question comes up that the community might not want, Uh of, um... Uh, just, well, uh, removing the, uh, uh, or turning it into a checkbox, pretty soon all Space Engineers is going to be is just a massive checkbox list. <laughs> Very true. Uh, something else they could really do, because um, I think early on they were kind of doing it, is... Uh, things with ideas they were making their own essentially they were making their own mods um they could do something like that with it you know work on it and just toss it on the workshop as a official mod yeah and then people who want it they can stick it on there because i mean there's a food mod on the market now that got abandoned that was doing pretty good for a while yeah 
and I think last time I read about it, they were, I think it got handed off to a set of people that's going to try to get it back going, I think. Cool. I think you hit on a, a good idea there that things, systems like that that are kind of, um, well, actually, no, because if you did it as a mod, you'd have people that are, that don't want it, or aren't sure that they want it, um, complaining because they'd be saying, and there is validity to this, why are you spending, in essence, the, the funds that I invested in the, the, uh, production studio mm -hmm. by purchasing early access to create a mod on for something that I uh, that isn't helping fulfill the base purpose of the game uh, so, I think the base purpose of the game has been fulfilled mm, there's people arguing both ways on that uh, I suppose there's always going to be people arguing very true on uh, I mean, they're like, well, you can't really say that the base purpose of the game is fulfilled when you're too terrified to use pistons on your spaceship. Very true. Yeah. <laughs> Server is not liking something right now. It may and be just the fact that we're so spread out. I don't know. Uh, no, I mean, if if it were local, I could see that, but yeah, we're, we're not, not that far, that far apart. apart. Yeah, you were, you were much further the other night. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe there's could there be a storm between? Uh, well, maybe not for you. Uh. But for me, I mean, there might be a storm between server location and my location. It could be. I mean, but, you'd probably notice if there was a storm, but... Well, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, bottom line, it would not hurt my feelings if they added food into survival as long as they did something meaningful with it. Like, you know, like you mentioned, uh, adding some more blocks that you can make um, oh, what did I call? I don't forget some of the main, some some of the machines are called, but you know your basic farming equipment. But um, if they did something with it other than, hey, here's a block to make paste, keep the paste on you. Bye. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of people are concerned about is that they'll introduce something like potassium. Mm-hmm. And then you just, you mine potassium, you put it into this uh, paste producer. I heard that firework. Yes, sir. They, they are full tilt. But, yeah, I think a lot of people are concerned about the... Um, that... Let's see, how do I want to do this from here? I can understand that concern. Um, and, yeah, I, I, can give, I can go along with that. However, just about every game that has ever had farming of any sort in it, I have enjoyed thoroughly. I wish farming was more substantial in ARC. Yeah. Stay welded. Okay, so small steel tubes. Okay, so next concept. Uh, just a moment, please. Okay. Let me check something here.
games. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's nothing in the process that's causing my issues. Oops. Get out of there. There we go. Alright. Alright. Water. Liquid water, not ice, water. Um, yes. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's an Earth-like planet. Okay. It's obviously not freezing. Well, I mean, because there are wolves around, and if the entire planet was so cold, ugh, you know? Yeah. But I, I think... Um, that would be a great addition for the Earth-like planet. Um, and they could simply add a block that would, you know, act as a hydro pump to get the hydrogen from it. And, uh, you know, that'd be, that'd be something you could do with that. Um, I don't think it's necessary. It doesn't, it's weird that all the water is ice, but it's an alien world. Even though it's an Earth-like planet, it's still an alien world. Okay. As far as we're aware, it is that freaking cold. With plants that enjoy that level of cold and greenery that enjoys that level of... Anyway. Your All opinion? Right. <laughs> well, my my thing is... I, I think it could be interesting, mm -hmm. but I'm concerned that it's going to be far too much work for far too little out of it. Mm -hmm. Because the... I mean, there are things out there that I would prefer to see um, come out of the engine than water. Yeah. I mean, the engine is relatively robust, but... And uh, if we need to put more hydrogen in, just pull it out of the gyro. It's in the gyro. I haven't put it into the... I put some of it into the, um, the system. I didn't want it to burn through all of it. Mm okay. But, um... What... Things that I think would be nifty. What if they put the um, moon, the moons, mm -hmm. on? And granted, you wouldn't be able to do this on self-built, built, built um, systems, um, unless you were really good with coding, but. Uh, what if you could put the moons on rails? So they actually moved around and whatnot? Yeah. Or... Um, I, uh, it'd be neat. But I don't really see a major need for that. I mean, it's not terribly realistic for the sun to be on, um, you know, the the skybox being what's moving, or the sun itself being what's moving. Yeah. But it simulates it well enough. Yeah. Or something even more interesting, environmental ha hazards. Like, say, a radiation storm in space, or... Um, we got silicone, why is it not pulling it in? Remember, we have a huge amount of, um... I know, but it should pull it into the, uh, assembler. Shouldn't it? Your, your assembler might be jammed full of, um... Gravel. Uh... No. Okay. None of the assemblers have anything in them. That's good. But there it goes, it's just being slow. Tim was probably acting up. Tim! Stop, act, stop acting up, man. Just just stop that. But environmental hazards would be uh, would be an interesting thing because that, that would kind of bring up what I was mentioning about radiation from the um, 
from the reactors and whatnot and having to actually isolate them from your builds and your oxygen systems and whatnot. Yeah. So, I mean, I think uh, environmental hazards of that nature would be interesting. You know, and maybe even upgraded suits to be able to survive in space as opposed to on planets. Anyway, I think that would be a good addition from a survival standpoint, anyway. Yeah. All right, let's see. Give me that bulletproof glass.